this section, I'll introduce how to create meshes by coding the simplest one possible, a single triangle. First, create folders to store our scripts, scenes and materials. Create and open a new c -sharp script in the scripts folder and name it all the triangles. We'll write code that will display any triangular shape we wish. Delete the existing code inside the class and then start by creating a variable for the mesh itself. The mesh class is responsible for storing the mesh's information, its vertices, triangles, normals, etc. We'll use these set methods which take lists as parameters. Create a private vector3 list and add the line using system.collections.generic at the top. Call the list vertices and add a private list of ints called triangles. Next, add a private material called material with a serialized field attribute to make it display in the inspector. Our triangle will use this material. I want this script to execute as we go in the editor, so I'm going to add the execute and edit mode attribute to the class. With this, the editor will call the update method whenever something changes in the scene. To display the mesh, the game object also needs a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. So let's require these components. The mesh renderer renders the mesh, and the mesh filter is basically a container which passes the mesh's information to the renderer. Create a new game object and name it triangles. Then drag your all the triangles script onto it. It adds the mesh filter and mesh renderer automatically as they are required in the code. Let's create a material for the triangle now. Go to the materials folder and make a new one. It's for the triangle, so I'll call it triangle material. Actually, I'll make it green triangle material and make the color green. Drag the material into the material slot in your all the triangle script. Add the update method. I'm going to add the mesh generating code in here so that it's updated whenever we change a value in the inspector. Usually this will go into the awake method instead. We'll need to assign things to the mesh filter and mesh renderer, so add private variables for each of these. Then use get components get references to them. The mesh renderer needs a material to display the model, so assign the material we just created to its material property. You could use shared material instead. Modifying the shared material changes that material for every object using it, while material does not, it creates a copy. Now let's initialize the vertices list. and the triangles list. Create a method that will create the mesh itself. We'll fill this in next time.